Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an Automation Specialist with es &E, and in this video segment we will cover how to use the Micro 850 simulator in CCW software. The simulator is an extremely powerful tool if you don't have the hardware. You can download the software, install it, write the logic, and test the logic even with simulating the I.O. There are time constraints to the simulator, but should allow you sufficient time for quick debug and verification. To start the simulator, you need to select the simulator icon in the middle of the header. This will launch a completely separate application. Upon initial launch, the simulators are not running and they do show inputs along the top and outputs along the bottom. To turn on the inputs, you can select the point and it will show an indication that it is on. The outputs have an indication if they are on as well, but you can also add I.O. to the wiring table to trigger an input based on an output. If you had already used the simulator for a different application, then it will remember the previous configuration, so it is best to select device and then reset simulator. You'll get a dialog that says you're going to clear the program and all configuration. Next, let's make an output turn on an input in the wire table. Let's just say the output one comes on, turns on input two, and you can even add a delay if you want to. When you select OK, you'll see the wiring show in the simulator. Now we can press the power button to turn on the simulated PLC. If you get an error message when starting the simulator stating you cannot use the Ethernet IP port due to RS links NG, it has a very simple fix. To fix it, you need to close the error and open Factory Talk Admin Console. When it opens up, select Network, and then you can select the Communications tab, select Ethernet Driver, and right click on the Ethernet IP driver. Select Properties and then go to the Advanced tab where you can uncheck the Listen on Ethernet IP encapsulation ports checkbox. Our simulator is up and running. Now we need to download to the simulated PLC. Let's go back to the Micro 850 homepage to select Download. When you hit Download, you should watch the Output tab on the bottom to see what's going on. You see the build started and it compiles the program. Next, you'll see that it was built in seconds and it was successful. If you have any errors, they will populate in the output window. You can click on it and it will take you directly to the area of the program that has the error. Next, we select what driver you're going to use to download to the simulator. This may not be intuitive, but you need to use the Ethernet driver to download to the simulator. Once you select a driver, you can then see the simulated PLC. We will select it just like you would normally do on a hardware download. When you do a download, it prompts you to download just the code or download with project values overriding everything in the PLC. For the initial download, we recommend doing a download with project values to ensure that you do not have any garbage data in the new controller. That is also what we are going to do now because we do not have any values in the existing simulator. Last, there is a prompt that will ask you if you want to return to the remote run. You will select yes and that will open the ladder logic window with live values. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please contact your local ESE account manager or automation specialist.